It's been such a great year this Christmas. I'm so glad that I didn't get any eye crap like everyone else. Instead I got all these toys and DVDs. Maybe I could build a red panda out of Lego. It's the Kai Shack Bricks. It's the Kai Shack Bricks. It's the Kai Shack Bricks. Dear God, this Kai Shack Bricks intro is getting so annoying. I'm going to have to change it. Anyway, I hope that you've all had a great Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. Today is the 26th of December, Boxing Day, so it's still kind of Christmas themed. What I showed you just there were the presents which I got. It was a plush red panda, a plush raccoon, a Doctor Who Series 7 DVD, and a Forest Animals Lego set. I'm having none of that iPhone or iPad crap, it's a waste of money and I don't need it. Anyway, enough of the talking, it's time to show you my next animal. When this series started about three months ago, I was going to start with my favourite animal, then move on to my second favourite, then my third favourite, and so on. However, my list of favourite animals since then has changed. My favourite animal is still a giant anteater, but all my second, third and fourth favourites have changed. So today I will be sharing my currently second favourite animal, which is the red panda. I think that this one has turned out great, probably one of the best in my opinion. Red pandas look just like raccoons, just more orange, and I couldn't decide if I should build a red panda or a raccoon. The problem was that I was really running short on orange pieces, but luckily I had just enough to build a red panda. So the parts which I thought were going to go wrong were the tail, the face, and all the orange parts in general, since I was running out of orange. Yeah, so this is my Lego Red Panda. I'm just going to show you what it looks like around the outside a bit. And then I'll show you what the face looks like. So yeah, the face is orange, and it's mostly a square, except the fact that it's a bit rounded underneath. So here's the chin when it goes white and then turns black into the belly. Um, yeah, it has little brown bits underneath the eyes, like the real red panda has. It's got white ears like that. Um, yeah, the cool thing is its snout or its mouth or whatever, because I made it like with three pieces, which I'm going to show you how I did it right now. Yeah, so here we go. When you take the nose off, it's a little black stud on a white piece. And because you can't place a block directly in the middle of a 2x2 two two plate, then I had to get two other white tiles with the things in the middle, and I attached another one of those onto the top, with making a nice snout, which I think has done quite well. So here we've got the back, most of the orange pieces, which I said, are running out, and here are the legs. The legs here are on hinge pieces, just similarly to the Lego Tapia, and the black like on the bottom and you can do some cool positioning it with the legs and the tail of which just fell off and there's a hole in the back of these bricks which is a circle which fits perfectly into one of those ball joint things just it's hard doing this while holding the camera there we go and using the tail and the legs you can you can do some poses with it which very creative poses so you can do them straight like sitting down and these down yeah with the tail down so it looks like he's sitting down and looking up which I think is really cool yeah so you can do some other positioning with the tail and the legs it's just kind of hard to make it stand up like that again but I think it's really good so what I'm gonna do now is just show you a 360 degree view of the red panda. Oops, wrong way. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for information and evaluation. Information. So welcome to the part of the show called information, in which I literally open up Wikipedia and read what I see about the animal which I'm doing. So. Let's open the internet, okay. So, the red panda, also called the lesser panda and the red cab here, well, is a small abru abru aburial mammal native to the western Himalayas and southern western China has been classified as vul vulnerable by IUCN and its world rep reputation is estimated less than 10,000. 
ma mature individuals. Less than ten thousand is so so little. There's that that's that's really endangered. That's just awful. The red panda is slightly larger than the domestic cat. He has reddish brown fur, a long shaggy tail, and a waggling gait due to its shorter front legs. It feeds mainly on bamboo, but is omnivorous and also eats eggs, birds, insects, and small mammals. That's that's very mean. It is a solitary animal, mainly active from dusk to dawn, and is largely sedentary during the day. I have no idea what half of that means. Um, so let's just see. It's it's from the weasel family, which is very interesting, and it and surprisingly, it is not closely related to the giant panda, which is the the panda which is more commonly talked about. You know, the black and white one. So it's not related to that that much. So that's very interesting. And then there's like pages and pages of, in of information, and yeah. Okay, so this is the time in which I evaluate my thing, Le Lego animal. There we go. Okay, so I think that compared to the real animal, my Lego red panda looks very good. I really like it, and I'm proud of. I'm proud of it. Yeah. And to see how well I've done, I've searched on Google Lego Red Panda, see what comes up, and there are quite a few results. I'll show them on screen right now. We've got this one, this one, and this one. And I usually say if they're better or worse than what I've done, but I think they're all mostly... All, they're all well done, just like mine. I think that these are just as good as my Red Panda. So I think that whoever created them is a great Lego creator. And yeah. I don't know if there's anything much to say. Yeah. Lastly on screen I'm going to show you all of my currently built animals from the series. The only one out of the seven I made which I broke was the Okapi. And I'm thinking about breaking the sloth. So I'd like to ask two questions. Which animal which I made so far is your favourite? The anteater, the sloth, the Okapi, the Stano's Mole, the Blue Footed Booby, or the Tapir, or the Red Panda. And the second question is, what animals would you like me to build? It would be unlikely for me to build an animal which is already an official set, like a monkey, eagle, or beaver, etc. But I will be likely to build ones which haven't been made into a set yet, like a snow leopard or a Komodo dragon. Leave your suggestions in the comments and I'll see you next time, hopefully in a story time.